Hey guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to do a Mary Kay versus. This specific video, if you can tell by my face, I don't have mascara on. So we are going to take my Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. It's one of my favorites. And we are going to compare it to the Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara. I've heard a lot of people kind of like this mascara. And um, I went to the people. The price of this one is $15 and the price of this one is $23. So I'm going to do the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara on my left eye and Tardiest Lash Paint on my right eye. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one. So, Lash Love Mascara from Mary Kay. It says, love your lashes with the mascara that defines, defense, and delivers four times the volume while looking naturally flawless, soft, and healthy. The flexible sculpted brush separates and coats the lashes. So, um, it says it's flake, smudge, and clump resistant. Mary Kay Path... Pathenol Pro Complex helps condition lashes, helps helps condition lashes, and helps defend against breakage. Fragrance-free, automatist, uh, how do you say that? Ophthalmologist tested, and suitable for contact lens wearers, and then water-resistant formula. The hardiest um, lash paint mascara. It says Jet, ba Blah. Jet Black Lengthening Mascara for 2700% more lash volume. Paint on dramatic lashes powered by good for you ingredients with the vegan natural artist artistry mascara. Infused with triple black painted mineral pigments that strengthen and condition lashes, lashes while developing bold black You'll get Flirty length and volume without any icky, icky bad ingredients. The patent mascara wand features molded multi length bristles that grab and lock onto each, onto even the tiniest lashes, saturating them in 360 degree root to tip pigment. In a simple stroke, you can sculpt, separate, and curl your lashes without any messy, flaky, me, without any messy flaking or clumping. Skin invigorating ingredients, triple black painted mineral pigments, deliver rich ultra black pigment, pigment while nourishing and softening skin around the lash line. So, and then it says benefits underneath all that. 2,700% increase in lash volume, vegan, also ophthalmologist tested, also safe for contact lens wearers, and dermatologist tested. So, let's zoom in and apply this. Okay, so we are going to do the Lash Love Mascara first for Mary Kay. This is the wand. Probably too close for focusing. I'm trying to do it where y'all can see me. Left eye is always the hardest. And I normally do this in, I normally do this in a like full body mirror, not a compact, so. And I also should note that this mascara has reached its like three month point. So it's not going on as uh I'm gonna spot right there. It's not going on as creamy and easy as usual. So my Mary Kay mascara is actually at its like three month point. Like when mascara gets to three months, you need to throw it out and change it. So it's at its um need to be thrown out and changed out point. 
so it went on it so it's a little tiny dried out so it didn't go on as smooth and creamy as usual but I still like how it looks and now I did blink so I'm going to show you guys a trick really quick on how to fix that without messing up your makeup okay so you take your spoolie you wait for it to dry for a minute you don't do it when it's wet because then it smears everywhere I got a little drop up here and you just kind of scratch it off you can use your finger too but I like to use my spoolie so here let me I'll zoom back in for you guys you literally just scrape away just like that now sometimes it gets it wipes your uh, mascara off and you might have to like re you might have to reapply some mascara like I've got some corner lashes I don't think I got real good so Another trick you can do is to kind of just run along the top like that to get the very tips of your lashes. Okay, so let me tilt the camera. Okay, so there's that eye. Alright, so now we're going to do the tardiest. And I have used this before. And I've used it like twice. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan. If like it comes out, here, let me show you. Okay, so when I pull this one out, it comes out with lots of product on it. Um, last time it came out like gunky. It didn't come out as gunky this time, which is nice. So hopefully it doesn't do it every time. But there's, it's bristles. So let me put them side by side. Mary Kay on the left, this Mary Kay Tarte. So it's a fatter brush. They have the same basic concept. This Mary Kay tapers um, a lot better than this one. So, all right, so zoom you guys back in. And this mascara is newer. It's only a, like a month old. I got it in a boxy charm. So it's only been used like two or three times. Separate on its own. So I wanted to try them together to compare them. I will say this application just went way better than my last one my last application it was all gunky let me zoom there up. so my last application of the tart was all gunky got everywhere didn't like it it was thick and heavy okay so now sitting here just the camera a little bit okay so now sitting here with both eyes finished this eye with the tart it feels heavier like I can feel weight on my lashes it feels a little stickier but like I said this one's on its like drying out point but even when my Mary Kate is not dried out I don't feel sticky um, I might in my inner corners or, I mean my outer corner a little bit but I my lashes get real thick right there so but 
overall, they're very similar in, in how they look. I'm not sure if on camera is different than in person. So these lashes are a little more separated than these, but that's also due to the drying out that's happening in my Mary Kay mascara. Because I'm that Lash Love Mary Kay mascara, I normally wear that every day. That's like my everyday mascara. And it normally separates more than it has today. So um, right now, Mary Kay is still my favorite at the moment because it feels light. This feels heavy. Like I can, like I can feel... I feel my eyelashes and I don't like that so we are going to do a wear test today um, it is uh, okay it's 8 57 um, we're fixing to head to town it's an hour it's about an hour drive to town I'm gonna drop my husband off he's gotta do something at work I'm gonna go to the fabric store because I'm gonna try and make a costume for my um, six-year-old's seventh birthday party for Saturday so um and then we have to come back home and do two birthday parties today five-year-old birthday party and a seven slash ten-year-old birthday party so this mascara is going to be on to at least eight or nine o'clock tonight so it's going to get a whole like it's probably going to get 12 hours today let's just go ahead and say it's going to be 12 hour day so I will do check-ins and we'll see which one I like better by the end of the day. So, update on my um, <coughs> eyelashes. Oh, of course the light turns green as I start recording this. Hold on. Okay, so I'm at another red light. Um, okay, so update on my eyelashes. They both look really good. Um, this one, the Tarte one. Um, I don't remember how long it took, but it did quit feeling heavy. Um, they still feel heavier than my Mary Kay ones, but they don't feel like really heavy. Like not, they're not like annoying me constantly. Um, I can say, um, a oh, light turned green. I can say when I put my glasses on, um, I have to be, I have, there is a Mary Kay mascara that really lengthens your lashes that I can't wear if I'm going to be like driving and stuff because I only wear my glasses when I'm driving, usually. So like right now with my glasses sitting close to my face, how I like them, my Mary Kay lashes um, from my Ma Lash Love Lip Lo Mascara, they actually touch the lens. The mascara makes my eyelashes longer, long enough to uh, touch my um lens on my glasses the Tarte one is not doing that so they both look good but the lash love is make has made my eyelashes slightly longer than the Tarte has so um now on really close inspection um let me see I mean, they're about, they're curled about the same. I didn't use a curler today. I didn't use, like, my lash primer or anything, like, to, like, really curl them upward. The, the mascara did a pretty good job on its own curling my lashes, keeping them upward. Um, so I honestly think the Lash Love is making my lashes longer than the Tarte Lash Paint. So, there's that. So I'm on my way to pick up my husband and my oldest daughter from what they were doing while we were doing something else. And I will, let's see, what time is it? It is 11.59. So basically 12 o'clock and I started, rec I, put, I put this on eight something so it's at least it's been at least three hours and it's still doing good no flaking yeah there's no flaking well there might be a i don't know what that is okay so yeah it's been three hours no flaking um this one doesn't feel as heavy as it did at first but it still does feel heavy so um 
and I feel like the outer corner kind of sticks more than um, my lash love. So, so far, my favorite lash love is still the favorite. So, I will check back in later. Just a minute. Eat your sushi. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Do you like it? All you ate were the little eggs. Take another bite. Take a big bite. You're getting just rice. You're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth. Huh? You just pull it apart. Eat it. No. You don't want to eat it? Why not? Eat it. You don't like it? Do you like it? That's salmon. It's fish. That's a crab. Eat it. No, just eat the whole thing. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Yeah, we eat it at home. I don't like it. On the onigiris. It's like an onigiri with something in it. So we are sitting down eating with the girls. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. And I did notice on the tart eye that my eye is more open than my Mary Kay eye. So, so this eye is more open. What are you doing? I'm trying to vlog here. Anyways, see this eye is more like rounded and open. So, um, I would probably get the same effect if I had curled this eye. Everybody wants in on the vlog, on the update. Harmony's eating corn. Kaden's stabbing corn. <laughs> Anyways, so this eye is a little bit more open. So I might try to do this again um, with a new tube of the Mary Kay. We'll see. But I just want to pop in here and plug in that little bit of information. So, Okay, so it is 7.20. Back at the house. Um, final thoughts on my Mary Kay versus Tarte. Okay, so my final thoughts on Mary Kay versus Tarte. Um, my Mary Kay, like if I look right now, my Mary Kay, this eye is not as open as this eye, but, um, if I look, this eye, I believe actually droops more than this eye anyway. Um, because even my crease on this eye is not as rounded as this eye. So that actually might just be my eye shape. So that might not actually be the mascara. It might actually be my eye shape. So, um, I will say I do have a couple of tiny little bit of flakes right here. Um, but as I stated in the beginning of this video, this mascara is at the drying out point. Um, I am probably going to do like a take two. I may not record it, but um, I may do a take two with a brand new tube of my Mary Kay Lash Love and um, do this again and see if I get the same results. Um, I will say that both sides are very, very similar. The lashes are pretty widespread apart. Um, Full looking. Now I will say on my Mary Kay side, my lashes look fuller to me than on this side. Let me zoom you guys in real quick. Let's see. The, this section right here looks fuller to me than this side over here 
Okay, so other than um, the slight issues I had with like my Mary Kay one being kind of dried out, I do still like it more. Um, just mostly because when I first applied it, it doesn't feel thick and heavy, and that just irritates me. And uh, this side eventually dry, I guess dried and didn't feel as heavy. It took it a little while, but the initial just heavy feeling of my lashes, I just don't like. It's uncomfortable to me. So that is why I, um, Mary Kay is the winner on this versus. So as far as what they claim to do, um, they pretty much do it. One of, it's, neither of them claim something and then not do it. Um, I will say though, the TARDIS lash paint, I want to say it said it doesn't clump. And the first time I used it, it did. First or second time it, I used it, it did kind of clump on me. So, um, that, but a lot of product came out on the wand. So, but other than that, like this time it didn't. So that may just have been me or, you know, something, I don't know. So they both do exactly what they say they do. My personal preference is the Mary Kay. Yours might be different. Um, comment below if you have tried one or the other or both and which one you preferred. I'd love to know. If you haven't tried either of those, leave a comment of which mascara you would like me to see challenge against one of our mascaras. We, Mary Kay has five different types of mascaras. There's the Lash Love, um, Lash Lengthening, Ultimate Mascara, Waterproof, and the Intensity. So there are five different types. I compared the Lash Love to the TARDIS Lash Paint because their claims were similar. Um, I may try the TARDIS against my Ultimate because my Ultimate does make fuller looking lashes. It doesn't necessarily do the lengthening part per se. It's more of just fuller lashes. But I may do a Mary Kay Versus on those two. Let me know um, down below if you'd like to see that video. So that's all I have for this Mary Kay Versus. Out of these two, this one is the winner. And so if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I would really, really appreciate it. It would mean the entire world to me. And be sure to subscribe to my channel to see what other content that I have. And if you would like to see more of Mary Kay versus whatever, um, feel free to leave a comment if you have an idea for which Mary Kay product you would like to see versus another or just another product that you would like to see. Um, me try on this channel and then I could figure out which Mary Kay product would be good versus it. So be sure to leave that comment down below uh, and I will definitely check it. And so be sure to comment down below and I would be very, very grateful. So thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!